YouTube, for whatever reason, is not showing me that we are live. So hopefully we are live. I've been sat here waiting for YouTube to say you're good to go. That thumbs up has not been coming. So I've just been sitting here going, are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. I feel good. I hope you feel good. And I hope that the footballing world feels good because we've got uh, four games today. Obviously, uh, two of them being played at the same time. Uh, so uh, we have got two football streams and uh, Raw. Can I just say as well, it feels, it really feels like a Tuesday. It really seriously feels like a Tuesday and I don't know why. I have no idea why. I don't know if it's because of last night's pay-per-view and in my mind I'm thinking that's raw and so tonight we've got NXT but I keep having to like correct myself that it's not NXT tonight have to keep correcting myself that this is not Tuesday um so yeah I'm kind of a little bit out of whack but uh yeah it is Monday uh we do have uh some games coming up uh Netherlands versus North Macedonia. This is a bit of a weird one, right? I'm not sure when people saw this, the heart was pumping, the blood was racing. I'm, I'm not sure people were doing cartwheels uh, as, uh, like, this match was announced because this isn't uh, the most exciting match in the world. This isn't a match that, uh, you know, people are um, really licking their lips for. The only thing I would say is the Netherlands are a very exciting team to watch. And um, it's just another uh, step on the uh, road of me messing up my fantasy team because I was adamant the Netherlands were going to make big changes today. Netherlands are through. Macedonia are out. Netherlands don't need to win this. They don't need to risk anyone. Netherlands are through. So in my mind, I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to fall for this. They're going to make big changes. Big changes, right? So there's no point having any Netherlands players in my side because they're going to change loads of people. I'm I'm super smart. I've got this. They've changed uh, pretty much no one by the looks of it. The whole team looks pretty much the same as what we've been getting. Uh, Depay up front with uh, Malum. We've got uh, Wijnaldum in the middle of the park. We've got De Jong, uh, Dumfries at the back as well. So they haven't changed anything for this so it is still going to be um a wonderful uh display from the netherlands because uh this is pretty much a first team and um which isn't what i was expecting and uh they are taking on north macedonia who have lost their first two games i, I had high hopes for north macedonia which i know sounds a little bit strange because i don't know that anyone's ever had High hopes for North Macedonia, but I had high hopes for North Macedonia because they managed to um, go through qualifying and, uh, you know, get some decent results. They actually did fairly well in their qualifying, uh, like getting draws against uh, Slovenia and beating Slovenia, uh, beating teams like um, Israel, which, you know, is uh, not a bad result for them. Uh, coming through so I thought that they could actually get a, a bit of a decent result North Macedonia as well I'm sure in a friendly managed to get a victory over Germany so this is a side that are very capable but just haven't been able to apply it in the tournament uh, very much like our good friends Turkey so uh, North Macedonia are out uh, Netherlands are definitely through I suppose in a way it's the other game that's going to have more of the drama. Uh, it's the Ukraine versus uh, Austria. And uh, we will be keeping an eye on that. Uh, much like we did yesterday whilst we were watching Italy-Wales. And uh, we had obviously Switzerland taking on Cro not Croatia. Uh, Turkey on the other game. Uh, Lauren says Billy Gilmore of Scotland. Yes, yes, yes. Billy Gilmore of Scotland is out. Scottish hearts breaking a little today. Yeah, good shout. Uh, Billy Gilmore of Scotland tested positive, meaning that he can't play the last group game. So, of course, England play tomorrow. Scotland play tomorrow. Scotland with a massive match uh, taking on the Croatia. I was going to say the Czech Republic, but it's Croatia. Uh, taking on Croatia and uh, Billy Gilmore, who was so inspirational, influential uh, in that victory over England, uh, really dominate in the middle of the uh, park. 
Um, really, you know, really getting involved. I think he actually won star of the match or something. I don't think they call it man of the match. You're a star now, guys. You're a star. Uh, so he won star of the match. And uh, he will not be uh, around for that crucial, crucial game. So I've seen a lot of um, Scottish heartache on my timeline. But, um, you know, a lot of level heads, cool heads have said, look, we got here without him. Like, we qualified without him. We played the first game without him. Like, it's going to be okay. So, uh, you know, it's definitely going to make things a little harder for Scotland. But um, we'll see how they do. Uh, Scott says, nah, to be fair, Gilmore is a loss, but not heartbreaking. I still think we can survive with McGinn and McGregor. That's the spirit. Scott, you keep the pecker up. Uh, Scotland can't play their last group game as the team is going to self-isolate. I, I've not heard that, Lauren. The C Scotland's team is self-isolating. When I woke up me uh, half an hour ago, uh, BBC was saying that it was just uh, Billy Gilmore. Uh, BBC are not reporting that. So that has not come through. Uh, BBC. I'm sure they will have tested the other players. Um, but I've got no news that the Scotland game is off. Uh, Graham said, I thought you might have covered Austria-Ukraine as that has got more at stake than this game. It was. It's a difficult choice, to be honest, because even though this one doesn't have as much kind of riding on it, the bigger stars are kind of here. Um, and I was just kind of going where I thought more people would probably... I mean, in all fairness, ITV has gone for this game. I don't know if they have to pick it in advance, in all fairness, but, but of the options, ITV is showing this game over the other one. So it's it's a difficult one, isn't it? The other game, Ukraine versus Austria, um, I'm not sure is going to have as much interest for the casual fans. Although, you are absolutely right. There is a lot more at stake at that one. So, maybe it would. It's just a bit difficult. It's a bit difficult because, you know, you've got uh, Memphis Depay. You've got Wijnaldum. You've got De Jong. You've got De Litt, um, You've got a lot of big, big names in, in this game here. Uh, it's only Gilmore that's out. It's been confirmed, says Scott. <clears throat> Uh, the start of Hell in a Cell was inspired by a 1979 movie called The Warriors and Ric Flair and Becky was backstage, says uh, a deal. Uh, Days can't wait for Raw because I'm sure Raw will be good just for my B-Day. I thought that said baby. Just for my baby. Uh, it's Harley's birthday today, guys. Harley, happy birthday to you. Even though... We disagree on pretty much everything in life. I wish you a very, very happy birthday. We can agree on one thing, Harley. It is your birthday. So, happy birthday to you. Uh, that hasn't been said. I think Wales will get to the final, says Die Pipe. The final, I tell you. Um, well, uh, that would be amazing. If they did, that would be uh, unexpected. Um, actually, it's it's kind of interesting because obviously we're going to start getting some answers as to who teams are going to be playing. So the runner-up in Group A will play the runner-up in Group B. Um, and the winner of Group A, which was Italy, will play uh, the runner-up in this group. So whoever finishes second will play Italy. And uh, the winner of this group will play the third place team of group D, E or F. So we're not really going to know who that is yet, but we will know who Italy will be playing by the end of uh, this game. Uh, Dave in real life, shout out to you. Uh, Mr. Meme said, how was Hell in a Cell? Uh, a, a, a little below expectation for me. Um, to be honest, I, I was trying to work out the prediction game thing, so I didn't really get a chance to look at the reviews like I wanted. So I actually don't know what people are saying. So people could be saying it's the greatest thing they've ever seen. Uh, they could be saying it's the worst thing they've ever seen. I don't feel either of those are true. Um, I kind of feel like it was more around the middle, but maybe just a little touch below. But nothing disastrous. 
Um, and I am genuinely looking forward to Raw tonight because, as we were saying yesterday on the stream, um, I think that it's what with the Bobby Drew feud now having ended, uh, we need we need some at fresh. We need some at new. Um, and there were rumours uh, that there could be something special tonight. Again, let me let me get this out there. I can't remember where they were from, and it certainly wasn't like a Sean Ross Sapp or a Dave Meltzer. But there was just a bit of noise about it. But it's only the same as the kind of noise you saw about Brock Lesnar being on the show last night. So let's not read anything into that. But um, I have seen noise. I have seen things being said that um, there's some planned for tonight. So let's see. Let's wait and see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going into it with optimism. Uh, James Chadwick said, Sky Sports News has just said that United... And Chelsea are considering bids for Harry Kane. I think what that means is it is uh, if they are considering bids, then that surely means that this is a hmm moment of the day. As soon as I can find the emoji, there it is. There it is. This is United and uh, Chelsea right now. That is them right now. Right now they're sat there going, hmm, hardcore considering going on. Some hardcore considering. Uh, Days, don't you think we should be watching Ukraine Austria? Wow. Maybe the people have spoken. Maybe uh, there's more of a demand for that game. I don't know is the answer. <laughs> I mean, I thought that we would go where uh, Harley as well. Hmm. I thought we would go where the superstars are. I'm not sure there's many superstars in the Austria or the Ukraine uh, game. So, uh, I mean, what we can do is we can keep an eye on both. But the thing is that if I watch the game... Hang on. If I watch the game... Well, hang on. No, the thumbnail's made. I can't change the thumbnail. People are going to jump in thinking this is Netherlands, and all of a sudden they find out it's something different. They'll, I'll, I'll start being accused of clickbait. Is that what you want for me? Hey? So, uh, no, we're going to sit here. We're going to watch this game, and we're going to like it. Uh, Tall Paul says, I don't care who buys Kane. I know it won't be Palace. Ha, 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 ha. I added an extra few hours there. But I just want it sorted so Kane can focus. Do you think that is on his mind? I'm not sure. I mean, when you get onto the pitch, when you get onto the pitch, surely you just play. And plus also, if he is looking to move, you'd you'd think he'd want to impress. But I don't know. Maybe. maybe. It's an interesting point. Harley says, clip beta. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna watch both. I'm gonna watch both. I don't know if this is on TV. The other game, the Ukraine game, it could be, could be. Um, but I know that on ITV it's Netherlands and uh, North Macedonia. So I'm going with that. Uh, Taruka, shout out to you. Uh, Hasib said, "Days, I could watch you. That's more interesting." Hasib, that's what I want you to do. I want you to stare at the screen in a concerning manner. Right, so that if anyone walks in and they ask you what you're doing and you say you're watching someone on the internet, they get a little bit freaked out. So uh, that's what I want you to do, Hasib. Shout out to you. Uh, Dave said, that's why my thumbnail as has both advertised. Up there for thinking, in it, bud? It's up there for thinking. It's down there for dancing. Uh, ITV4 is the UK grain. UK grain. <laughs> UK grain. Game. What the flip? You came. You, 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 cra oh my god. Why is this? Why is this like the hardest thing I've ever had to say? Of anything I've ever had to say, why is this the thing that's. Think of all the fighters that have got like really long names that are really hard to pronounce. No problem. But Ukraine game is uh, a tongue twister too far. Ukraine game. Got it. Done. Done. Uh, my computer screen is split screen city, says uh, Alex. Oh, are you watching the Ukraine game as well? 
Uh, Harley said, did you see the marks that were left on Drew McIntyre's back? I did, yes, I did. I saw a lot of people tweeting going, uh, so wrestling's fake, is it? And having uh, that, that image. What app do you use for play-by-play? What do you mean, buddy? Do you mean what am I watching it on? I mean, uh, there's, uh, I'm watching it on uh, ITV, and it's on ITV4. I, I do have both games, so we can watch both. So that way, um, if someone clicks on expecting Netherlands, North Macedonia, we're still going to give them that. But we will also be looking at the Ukraine, Austria. So don't worry, guys. We've got it all. We've got it all sorted. Uh, stumbling block much? Very much so. Very much so. Would WWE have Drew win the briefcase just to cash in and win the title and have Lashley try to win it back at SummerSlam? Uh, I, I suppose in a way, how do they? How does it? How do they stop it? Do you know what I mean? I know uh, Bobby has said, "Whilst I'm champ, you won't get an opportunity at the title." But how does he stop it if Drew wins Money in the Bank? So I don't know. It's an interesting one. Is he not allowed to enter? Do you think Adam Pierce will say you're not allowed to enter? You can't enter. Maybe Drew could go. But if I win, what if I go after the Universal? Imagine that. If I was if I was Drew, let's imagine I'm Drew. Hello, I'm Drew. Right? Check out my sword. Right, so he's got a sword and everything and he and he says, uh, I want to enter money in the bank to Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce is like, You know you can't. You heard Bobby. And Drew's like, Yeah, I heard him. I heard him. But what if I go after the Universal? And Adam Pierce goes Give us one of them and Sonya goes. And we see Vince in the background go. And it's such a moment. Uh, wait, Austin316, I've never heard of him, says Harley. Well, he's here. Guys, he's here, so start being nice. Start being nice, guys. He's turned up now. Uh, Theruka said, I'm watching football on Sony. Shout out to you. Uh, Austin, shout out to you. Hope you are well. <laughs> Someone says, Austin 316, music intensifies. Um, could you imagine that if when you walked into the chat, you had your own theme song? <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing if, like, someone joined the chat? Say, like, say you get to a point where you've joined us for, I don't know, say a year or something. So, do you know what I mean? You've, you've, you've been a, a, a member of the community for that long. And as a result, that now means that you get entrance music. So when you click in, everyone hears a little burst of music and then, hey, guys, here come the money. That would be great. We could make a better YouTube, couldn't we? We could make a better YouTube. Uh, Nathaniel says, don't just stop the Drew impression halfway through. Come on now. Well, I felt I was losing it, to be honest. I felt I went into it with real enthusiasm and confidence. And as I was uh, doing it, I was like, this is awful. This is actually the worst Scottish accent I've ever done. So I stopped because <clears throat> even I was getting offended. Right. Even I, as an Englishman, was getting offended. I was like, this is disgusting. This is just this isn't even fair. I'm pretty sure what I'm doing right now is a war crime. So I stopped. Uh, Jamie says, is NXT big enough? for money in the bank yet uh that's a good question i don't see i don't see why not the only the only thing i would say is rather than them have that do you mean their own separate one or being a part of it because i there's lots of rumors about this nxt evolve and triple h used the word evolve didn't he and um we're still waiting for it we're still waiting for nxt evolve but it was heavily, heavily rumoured, like, months ago that we're going to get this new brand. And um, this new brand is going to be the new NXT, we think. And that means that NXT becomes a proper third brand. Now, if NXT becomes a proper third brand, it's got to be treated as the other brands. It's got to be. You can't, you can't really treat it different because then it's not going to feel on the same level. So I personally would... Look to include it in Money in the Bank, yes. 
I think that I think you've got to also treat the title as a world title. The Universal title is a world title. The WWE title is a world title. And uh, NXT title would have to be a world title as well. So um, those would be a few little changes that you could bring in to make it feel more like a third brand. Uh, if Drew won Money in the Bank, imagine if he cashed it in on Cross. Well, uh, Charlotte won the Rumble, didn't she? <clears throat> Ended up facing Rhea for uh, the NXT Women's title. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that that would be cool. I, I, I wouldn't be completely out of the realms of uh, reality, so... Uh, if Days had a theme song, every time he entered the chat, it would be Sexy Boy. Sexy Boy. Do you know who that's by, Austin? I'll give you a moment to breathe and think. Uh, Nathaniel says, we're getting Diamond Mine this Tuesday, whatever that is. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I think it could be another show. I mean, it's the fact that it says it's opening. That's what I keep getting stuck on. The fact it says it's opening soon, not they're coming soon. Or revealed. Why not? Revealed could even mean a show, but opening soon makes me think that it is some sort of MMA thing. So, I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, Days, how are you? Jake, I'm good. Gary, shout out to you. Shout out to you, Gary. Uh, Sunday says, it's by me. I made it for you. Austin doesn't know. Aust Gary knows, but Austin doesn't know. Ah. <laughs> Days, day four of the WTC final was called off due to rain. Sucks, doesn't it, a deal? I, I'm in England and I'm embarrassed, right? I don't even know what they're saying around the world, but we finally get a final of test cricket. So all these nations play games. If you win, you get points and all that. And there's a league table. And finally, the top two teams play each other in a final and it just won't stop raining. And the game keeps getting called off and delayed. And it's an absolute embarrassment. It's an embarrassment because they could have held this in another country and it would have been brilliant. But instead, it's held in the UK and it, it's held in Southampton. I lived in Southampton. And why would you go there? <laughs> why would anyone go there? Like, I kind of feel that why don't you do it at Lords? Why couldn't they do it at Lords? Like the home of cricket? That, a lot of it doesn't make sense to me. A lot of it doesn't make I don't know why it's in Southampton. Um, and it's embarrassing that it won't stop raining. And uh, I should imagine that we are currently, for many reasons, the laughing stock of the world. Uh, Harley says, I think there will be four qualifying matches on Raw. Two for the men, two for the women. I think Pippa Niven and Nikki Cross will qualify for the women. Jeff Hardy, Morrison will qualify for the men. London Askew uh, at London. Shout out to you asking the big question. Whose hand was under the ring at Hell in a Cell. I know. Whose hand was under the ring? I should imagine that uh, that's definitely something people are talking about. Um, obviously, we uh, watched the little clip. We have uh, seen, like, obviously the images of it as well. Um, whose hand was it? Whose hand was under the I would love it if they ribbed someone. Could you imagine if Vince said to Karrion Cross? The other day, so Karrion Cross had his tryout match, yeah? And he's like, Vince is like, God damn. God damn, we need you on the main roster, god damn it. What I want you to do is get under the ring. And I'm going to bring you out at hell in a cell. During the main event, we'll get you out from under the ring. And we will debut Karrion Cross. So Carrion's all pumped up and he's like, yeah, okay, here we go. And he gets under the ring and he's hiding under there and he's waiting to debut. And the show ends. And then the show ends. And Carrion has to crawl out after and go, what happened? And they're like, ah! That's what I hope happened. Uh, Austin said it was Barbie's hand. 
Uh, Winford says, come on, North Macedonia. That would be nice if they got something from this, but um, this is a full-strength Netherlands team, and uh, which I'm really, really surprised at. If you are just joining us, I was uh, a bit perplexed as to why they've actually um, uh, put out a full-strength team. They're already through. They've already qualified, so uh, I'm not sure why they're doing this. But they're doing this, and so uh, we're going to be seeing some wonderful players in action. It's always fun watching the Netherlands. So uh, I am expecting some goals in this one. Definitely expecting some goals. Uh, Days, the hand under the ring was May Young's son. Wow. It's good to see that he's still employed with the company, isn't it? It's good to see that, uh, you know, they found a job for him. And that's if anything gets knocked under the ring, he just like knocks it back out again. So uh, it's, it's cool. It's really cool. It's such a weird... It's so weird. It's I can't even begin to get my head around it. Of all the little weird, quirky things you expect, you really don't expect someone to be under the ring during a match. There's, there was someone under the ring during that whole match. Maybe that whole event. I don't even know. Were they under the ring throughout the whole event? Is it a case that they fell asleep under there or i don't know what what is it was it a case that they were playing hide and seek like they were trying to kill a bit of time like maybe they were backstage and maybe they were like trying to kill a bit of time or something and they went under the ring to hide or whatever and then before they know it like the event starting and then they're like oh i can't get out now oh my god i can't get out now i'm under the oh my god Am I going to have to be under here throughout the whole pay-per-view? Oh, my God. Oh, they're like this, and they're just trapped under the ring. And then, like, during the main event, there's, like, shards of table coming at them. So they're like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And before they know it, their hand's going out. They're like, oh, my God, now they know I'm in. Oh, my God, I'm going to lose my job. I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. Someone said in the chat last night, maybe it's a member of the crew. And I was just having a joke with it because I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I bet it's a member of the crew. Get under there. Thanks for setting up the ring. Now get under. But now I don't know. Now I don't know who it was. Who was under the ring? Who goes under a ring? How is that even? How is that even allowed under health and safety? Like, I could understand you going under there if you are going to come out, like, during the show. But no one did. No one came out. There's no need for them to be under there. Does the ring not work? Unless Is this going to be like a big reveal? Are we going to find out that the ring's just... You've, you've got to have someone... Technology hasn't reached the point where we can have a ring without someone under it. Every match ever has always had someone under the ring. Is it where they've put Cater in? I just don't know. Uh, the hand was the return of Nicholas, who won tag titles with Braun. Uh, keep this guessing the hand game going. It was Alexa or Lily under the ring, says uh, Annette. Winford says uh, Netherlands uh, doing this because they don't want to victim like Germany versus Korea in the last World Cup. Uh, some arenas have access to and from under the ring, but I'm not sure the Thunderdome has that. Is that true? There's a way you can get, like, like a trap door. I would, I mean, I'm not, I'm not aware of that, to be honest. I, I'm sure there would be. I mean, they must have gone somewhere where that is possible. But to have a trap, I mean, like, normally these are basketball uh, arenas, aren't they? So, like... To think there's like a trapdoor in the middle of where they would play is, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I certainly don't think like that, that it's a door that people are coming and going. I, 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 think, I think it's just someone that was under the ring, but I can't explain it. It's blowing my mind. I 100% want answers. And, you know, WWE have got so much air to fill. I, I think that this is something they could dedicate some time to. If, if I was WWE, I would get Bree Zango on the case. I think you could have some fun with this. Get Bree Zango on the case. Who the, whose hand was it? 
I personally think it was Tony Khan, says Austin. Uh, it's a known fact that there's a TV monitor under the ring. Yes, but TV monitors don't have arms, do they? But that is true. You are correct. The uh, I don't I don't really know why the TV monitors are there. To be honest, um, I'm guessing it's because I've seen TV monitors under there. We've seen them when there's been no one under there, or at least we don't think there's anyone under there. Because um, I remember, wasn't it a pay per view a while ago? Someone went under the ring and we saw the TV monitor, and I remember going TV monitor. Someone under the ring. There's someone under the ring because they're showing them the monitor so that they know when to come out. But no one came out. So then I was like, why is there a TV monitor under the ring? <laughs> it's just, it, the whole thing is blowing my mind. Blowing my mind, I tell you. Uh, who the funk is that guy? Uh, Maldi Spoon said, imagine Vince did it on purpose because people were expecting returns. Uh, didn't someone see a foot under the ring in your house? Uh, there was a foot on screen, wasn't there? I don't think it was in your house. I think, um, was it the dart match in your house? I don't think it was during the actual pay-per-view. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Kevin Owens has tweeted about last night. Looks like he's going to be gone for a while. Oh, Badger and Bournemouth says, I predict at least four goals in the Austria-Ukraine game. Hey, I've got it now. Ukraine game. Uh, maybe it was Drew's. It wasn't, no. It wasn't. You can see Drew, like, lying there. And then there's just a completely separate hand that's, like, over here. Uh, Athol said it will, it will be Jinder. Vince keeps all the zombies under the ring. Uh, shout out to uh, Chile, Christopher. Shout out to you. Jacko said, "Who do you think will be in the men's and women's money in the bank?" I don't know, buddy. I don't know if that that feels a bit difficult to predict at the moment because um, there could be some call ups. There could be a few little uh, changes. I mean, it seems like Kevin Owens might be out for a little while, so I don't know if that means he's going to miss it. So. Probably want to wait just a little bit just to see how things settle. Um, it's a difficult one to uh, call at the moment. Alex, days you literally saw the tunnel close and open like Narnia yesterday. Dude, that was amazing. That was amazing. That Germany thing in the German stadium where the tunnel went... <sighs> Honestly, Thunderbirds, Tracy Island, that's what I'm thinking. I know it's a reference that might not mean much to anyone, but it, they, it was like a puppet show. Yeah, these are puppets, by the way. It was like a puppet show. But like, you know, puppets on strings, yeah? Not like the Muppets, but like the puppet show. And and they like tried to save the world. And uh, they had a little island and like the trees would part and then a rocket would come, like the bit would open, and then a rocket would come out. All this kind of stuff. Tracy Island's cool. Shout out to Tracy Island. Um, it reminded me of that. The German stadium with like hatches opening up and like players coming out of tunnels and then hatches going back down. And there was something happening over by the where the subs are. It was just like, honestly, it's like a transformer. Turns into like a shopping center of a weekend. <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, Dave said it was the fur. It was thing from the Adams family. It's, it's mental, isn't it? Dave, you should be all over that, bud. You should be all over that. Video on the hand. If I had, if I had the time, I would have done a video about the hand because I think. It's one of those quirky things that people would be very interested. Some people might have missed it at first. So some people might not have even noticed it. Some people might have seen it, but did I see that? And not, not you know, gone back to see if they had seen it. But they did see Summer. Some people will have seen it and gone, what the flip? And they'd be looking for answers on it. That's the kind of video that I could see doing quite well to be honest, because uh, people love those botches, mistakes, things that shouldn't have happened. Well, a hand just appearing from under the ring. 
is a pretty extraordinary one. So, uh, yeah, that's the kind of video that I would be looking to do. But I'm not. Ha 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 ha. Because we're doing this instead. Uh, Dave said I'm on it. Two hands. Two hands. Oh, Dave, you could do it really well with your uh, new style as well. Oh, by the way, guys, 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 Amazon Prime Day. Yeah, this is not sponsored by Amazon Prime, but it is Amazon Prime Day. And I've seen some serious, serious bargains. I am looking to get an electronic uh, toothbrush. Thank you very much. Uh, and, um, yeah, there are, like, loads of stuff on sale on Amazon Prime. There's a tough brush that's, like, 75% off. 75% off. Something like £200, and now it's £50. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, Amazon Prime Day. Uh, I'm going to go to WrestleMania 38. This is going to be my first ever WrestleMania, says Sonic is the best. Harley said it is sponsored. Isn't. Don't go spreading fake news. This isn't sponsored by the amazing company that is Amazon, where you can get absolutely everything you need at really reasonable prices. How dare you suggest that this is sponsored? Amazon. Uh, I'm going to go... Oh, I read that one. Speaking of botches... Did you see Charlotte's botched kicks? Oh, you fell for it, Nathaniel. You you fell for it. You walked into the trap. Um, if you listen to the sound of when that happens, Charlotte says something like, are you going to kick at me, are you? Are you going to kick at me? So as she's kind of kicking out, she's... It's not really... I, I don't believe it to be a botch. I think that what she's actually doing is she's talking to Rhea, trash-talking Rhea. And so she goes, are you going to kick at me, are you? Rhea, you're going to kick at me. And then she goes over and stomps at her. So I don't think that they... I don't believe them to be botched. I think that they were uh, gestures. Uh, it was... She was posturing. She was... You have to watch the clip and make your own mind up. But it is drastically different with sound. Drastically different with sound. If you uh, don't have the sound on, then it just looks like she's going... Like a million miles away. Um, but with the sound on, it sort of makes more sense. So, currently, I don't think it's a botch. Uh, I did retweet it because I did start seeing it doing the rounds. But you have to make your own mind up. Uh, Jacko said, I'm going to have a look. Have a look. Make your own mind up. Because you might watch it and still think it's a botch. But uh, it is It is more thought-provoking when you uh, have the sound Right, guys, uh, all the teams are walking out. Literally all of them are walking out right now. We've got Netherlands and North Macedonia. Uh, over on ITV4, we do have uh, the Ukraine and Austria. I am keeping an eye on both, but I will not be accused of being a clickbaiter, let me tell you right now. So we are focused on Netherlands, North Macedonia. Well, we're focused on both, but still. Uh, William says, you have fans are mad at the end of... Did you hear fans were mad at the end of the Raw Women's Championship match? Uh, yeah, I mean, in all fairness, it didn't make any sense to me either why she would get DQ'd. Uh, just a, a lot of the finishes last night were very strange. I know people were upset with the end of Bobby and Drew as well. I don't think they minded Drew winning. Uh, losing, sorry. I've done, I did that last night, didn't I? In my, I'm so determined for Drew to win that match. I'm uh, all about that fake news. But, uh, yeah, the, I don't think they uh, m mind the fact that Bobby won. But I think they um, just don't like the way it was done. The, like, roll-up inside cradle, schoolboy. It's just not the most exciting, is it, really? Uh, Jacko said, no, I was having a look at Prime Day. Ah, oh, get on there, mate. There's bargains galore. But Jacko, again, let me just remind you, I am not sponsored by the wonderful Amazon. Uh, Nia Jax slapping the simp last night was the best. 
says uh, Annette. Uh, William said there's a video of it on YouTube. Of what? Video of what, buddy? Uh, some questionable decisions, but it is what it is. Uh, right, we've got uh, Netherlands. Uh, they've made their way uh, out for the national anthem at the Johan Cruyff. Is it arena or stadium? It is. I'm going to get you this information. Arena. The Johan Cruyff Arena, guys. In Amsterdam. Um, and uh, I think this is... Whose team is this? This is Austin's team, isn't it? I think he keeps going on about North... Ma um, North Macedonia. Honestly, you can't shut Austin up about North Macedonia. Uh, I think he keeps going on about Netherlands. Uh, days, there's an extra day six available to use in the Test Cricket Final. Uh, I see that wonderful toothbrush. It looks fancy. It's really fancy. Great technology. You can actually connect it to an app that will uh, tell you where in your mouth you've actually brushed and where you need to focus a bit more. And um, you can actually then like sit down and go, I think tomorrow I'm really going to target this area here because it looks like that is that is definitely being neglected. Probably need to spend at least 25% of my time in this top left region. Maybe work the way around uh, here. So you can actually plan out how you're going to brush your teeth. Like, this is next level, guys. This is next level. <laughs> My tough brush doesn't do anything. Barely cleans teeth at all. Uh, so, uh, I want one of these electronic ones. I want, I want to be like Inspector Gadget. Uh, Moldy Spoon says, Cruyff. What a player. Uh, can't wait for the England game tomorrow. Neither can I, James. Neither can I. It's going to be absolutely glorious. Uh, England 7 Czech Republic zero. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to send a shockwave around the footballing world. Uh, a replay video of Hell in a Cell is on YouTube. Cool. Uh, where are you from? Well, my mother and father loved each other very, very much, and on one very special evening, things happened. Do you know what I mean? This is how it works. I'm not going to go into the details, uh, but that's that's basically where I came from. I came I came from their love. That's where I came from, and also Stourbridge, which is in the middle of the UK. Harley said, "Days, have you heard of even more reports coming out saying Vince knows the product is stale?" I saw one from Wrestle Talk, which I think was just the same as the other day. I don't know that he said it again. <laughs> I don't know that Vince is going around going, everything stay, or I know it's stay, or everything stay, or stay, or stay, or stay. I think he probably he probably didn't even say it once, in all fairness. He probably has never said it, but still, gives me encouragement. Right, waiting for uh, both games to start. Yesterday, I only had the one game on, and I was having to try and follow the other game with text. But now I've actually got both uh, on and it's wonderful. So I can actually watch both. What a time to be alive. Uh, right, we are underway. Up and running. Netherlands versus North Macedonia. And uh, Austria versus... Uh, the Austria game hasn't kicked off for me yet. Uh, let's go uh, Macedonia and Netherlands, says Legend Killer. Uh, Arthur said uh, Amazon Prime Day. Hang on, let's show this. Uh, Amazon Prime Day in India is July 16th to 30th with 25% discount on Samsung and OnePlus phones plus one year of Amazon Prime Day. Uh, well, Amazon Prime Day in the UK is today. Uh, I don't know if it's the same in America, to be honest. Is Amazon is it Amazon Prime Day in America? You know, for Amazon Prime Day, do you have to have Amazon Prime? Because I've got a confession. <laughs> and it's quite an obvious confession. I don't have Amazon Prime. Uh, I've got both games on my TV side by side. 
Uh, Jacko said, my favorite women's wrestler is Awesome Kong. I like her because she's a big lady and she can wrestle for a big lady. I'm also a Sarah Logan fan. Do you have a woman that you don't talk about f- that you're fond of? <laughs> Do you have a woman that you don't talk about that you're fond of? Well, I'm fond of all women. And I don't talk about all women, do I? So the answer to that is yes. Billions. Billi- I have billions of women that I'm fond of that I don't talk about. Because they've all got a place in my heart. Apart from the bad ones. Um, Wrestling-wise, uh, maybe Rockin' Robin. Maybe Rockin' Robin. Because I did watch the Jake the Snake Dark Side. And it just reminded me of her because she was on it and she was someone that was really trying to be a proper wrestler uh she really wanted to get in there and do what the boys were going to do and she was properly trained to be a proper wrestler but again it's so hard for women even even in like just the late 80s so so hard they just were not getting opportunities um I mean, women now, obviously, uh, rightfully, still calling out, like, you know, for the, a lack of opportunity, um, still wanting more opportunity. Like, you know, recently we just got women's tag titles, not that long ago. It's only been a few years we've been doing women's Royal Rumbles or women's Hell in a Cell or women's Money in the Bank. Like, these are all things. And obviously, when we go to Saudi Arabia, there's only one women's match. At least that's progress, though. At least there is actual progress being made. Remove all of that. Pretty much remove women's wrestling altogether and then try to be a woman trying to be a wrestler in a world where it's just not set up for that. So I think any women that were around, like, in the 80s that were trying to be actual wrestlers, 80s, 90s, I kind of feel the 2000s is a slightly better time. But even then, you've got women being used as divas. Do you know what I mean? Even then, it's based on looks. So I've got a massive, massive... I love women's wrestling. I'm such a fan of it. I think that I think they, they have to... They've always had to work harder than the men to get where they are. And I think it shows. I think, I think it shows in, in their work, to be honest. I think a lot of my favourite matches tend to be women's matches because they're having to work arguably harder than what the men are. So, uh, yeah, I um, Rockin' Robin and um, uh, Jumpin' Bomb Angels, love them. Well, uh, my mind was blown. I know this is a football stream. I've got both games on. We're not missing anything. Uh, let me tell you this quick, quick story. My mind was blown when I found out that there used to be women's tag titles. This was a long time ago. In fact, I did a video on it, I think, back in 2016, about the the old women's tag titles. Um, and Jumping Bomb Angels actually uh, was in a match for them at an old Royal Rumble. I can't remember if it was Rumble 89 or 88. But if you want to watch the Jumping Bomb Angels, I think they were taking on the Glamour Girls. It's either Royal Rumble 89 or 88. And um, they are, imagine like Asuka and Kyrie. well, you know, Kabuki Warriors. Imagine if they went back to the uh, late 80s, what, what that would look like. And um, it's, it's kind of similar to that. Like they, they lay in their stuff. They're really technical. They're fantastic, like wrestlers that you haven't got the face paint or any of that. Their ring attire is the ring attire is all right, but it's it's pretty plain, bland. But um, it's it, you know it's not just I don't think it was just black. I'd have to have a, I'd have to have a reminder of what they wore at the Royal Rumble one. But yeah, I mean don't go into it thinking they're going to look like Asuka or be dressed as a pirate. I don't mean that comparison. I'm just talking about the fact that they were very technical, knew what they were doing in a ring, um, quite you know laying stuff in quite hard. Uh, I'm a big fan of them. Big, big fan of the Jumping Bomb Angels. Uh, where I've, I've been on the network trying to watch as much of their stuff as I can. Because I just can't believe that we had, like, a tag team like that in WWE and just never heard of them. They never get spoke about. 
and I, I didn't even know. I'd been watching since 92. That's only a few years later. And there's no mention of women's tag belts. Didn't know they'd ever existed. Didn't know it had been a thing. And I watched all that time and it was never mentioned. Clips were never shown, never discussed. Had no idea there'd been women's tag titles. And even now, WWE will try to convince you these are like the first ones they've done. I think that they're like the first ever tag team champions are like Bailey and Sasha or whatever. And it's like, no, 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 <laughs> no. Here come uh, North Macedonia, who are in white, by the way. Uh, Netherlands are in uh, black, ball played into the centre. North Macedonia aren't going to be a complete pushover. Um, uh, the women back then is what Lana and Eva do now. Uh, Days, imagine in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, you have Jeff Hardy, John Morrison, Shelton Benjamin in it, all known very well for ladder matches. Uh, uh, Desire Peterson was a member of the Glamour Girls. Judy Martin is another Glamour Girl as well, I believe. And Princess Victoria, I think, is in a, a tag team as well. There wasn't many teams, as you can imagine, because we've just said how rubbish the opportunities were. Here come Netherlands. Breaking forward, ball tried to get played across and uh, cut out by uh, uh, great defending by Macedonia. Yeah, I can see some goals in this. Eight minutes gone, though, already, amazingly. Uh, both games, uh, no goal in either game at the moment. Uh, Days, I'm hoping for a winner in the Austria-Ukraine -Uk game. Oh, my God. Uh, then for Belgium to beat Finland, as if Scotland win tomorrow, this will help us in the last 16, says Graham. Ball switched by the Ukraine, but uh, goes out of play. Uh, the women back there, la, 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 la. They, Jeff should win, says NWL live. Uh... What's uh, what's happened with Jennifer, William? Where's William? That's not that's not true, is it? Is that true? Where's that, William? Where's that being reported? Post on Twitter earlier. Still nil nil in the games. Post as a message. I only got up shortly before the streams, but so I didn't. Um
So, I mean, looking at it, there's a message from uh, one of her friends that Williams received that says uh, that she passed away. I mean, obviously, my it's difficult because I'm sitting here thinking, I hope it's not true, to be honest. I'm sitting here thinking, I hope it's not true, and I hope that it's like, I don't know, maybe like things got too much and she just wants a break or... Do you know what I mean? And maybe it's just a, but like maybe it is true. Maybe 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 it is true. I, I, I've not heard of this. This what you're seeing right now is me finding out for the first time, and no one, I've, no one's mentioned it. I don't know about it. I never go on Facebook, so I've never seen it. There's nothing on her Twitter about it. Um, I, it's funny because I know that people. I actually was going through the prediction game, and I know she didn't send through predictions this week. And that's really, really unusual. Really unusual. And I know that the other members in her team, because she's got a prediction team, I know um, like Scals and whatever were saying, if she does send hers through, can you just add them together so that we still get our score? Because like we, we can't get hold of her. We don't know where she is. So... Who is she? She's a big part of this community. She's a massive, massive part of this community. Uh, she was someone I talked to regular and had the utmost respect for me. Uh, she was one of us. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. She was one of us. come to think about it I've not seen her on here for a week or so uh, it is true heartbroken this is a huge loss Well said, Emmy. Wow, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, to be honest. I, don't, I genuinely don't know what to say. I mean, obviously, we can't continue with the stream. Because uh, what, what, what are we meant to do? What are we me um, I don't know what we're meant to do. Tragic loss to the community. Prayers go out to her family. Yeah, my thoughts go to her family as well. Uh, I, I, I'm okay, London. I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked. She, she, she's a big part of this community. She's someone that is uh, a member of the community. Um, so she's not someone that just pops in every now and again to the streams. She's someone that's constantly around. But more than that, I speak to her as well, or have been speaking to her because. She really passionately wanted to do well in the prediction game. And I was genuinely so, so pleased when we do a little tournament for the members. And she won that tournament. And I was so pleased that she'd finally achieved that. And I remember mentioning it and mentioning her in, like, the prediction video, the, the prediction game stuff. I was like, you know, I know I shouldn't root for anyone, but I'm rooting for Jennifer Palmer, like, and... um she was someone that was very active, very very involved, and uh, really, you know, loved by by the community. So uh, to find out this news completely out of the blue is a real, a uh, real shock, a real shock. It definitely, I mean, like, I just don't really want to. I'm just not. <sighs> 
I just don't know what to think, to be honest. Part of me is still thinking, I'm really hoping it's not true. Um, I'm may maybe, like, I'm in a denial stage or something, but part of me is still thinking, I'm really hoping she's just taking a breather, or that she's, maybe the prediction game is getting a bit much, and she was just like, she's got other things going on, she's just like, I don't know, yeah, but like, it doesn't, it doesn't add up, That doesn't. it doesn't make sense. Uh... Uh, dedicate the stream in her memory. Seeing as this is rescuing me, we should give her 10 miles. I, th I think, hang on. But guys, I think we're moving way too quickly for me anyway. Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere near the point of even accepting that this has happened at the moment. I'm, I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm still in a confusion about it and I'm still at a point where it's like, I understand a post has been put out there. It's... I'm going to start streaming, I understand. I'm just really... I just don't know what to think, to be honest, buddy. I just don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're watching a man have a mental battle. Trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, I mean, we can do that, uh, Anna. Yeah. Harley said, "I'm confused and upset." She's part of you. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. The only thing I know is that if I t if I stop streaming, what would I do anyway? What am I going to do? I'd probably if I wasn't streaming, I would probably be looking into what's happened, trying to get uh, a, 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 like a more of a concrete answer if that makes sense. But I'm not saying that what we've got there isn't, you know, concrete. I mean, the the the. Let me. Sh I don't think they're going to mind me showing it. Um. It's still nil nil in all the games, by the way. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show this just so that we're all on the same page because I understand that we are talking about a few things here that people might not. Uh, like be able to we're talking about stuff that people haven't seen okay so i'm going to show you the message uh i'm guessing this is all right because william has uh an hour ago tweeted this out or two hours ago sorry so uh this is out there on twitter and i'm sure william's not going to mind um so this is this is what william has managed to get and tweet out so, uh, there's a goal for uh, Austria, by the way. Let me just change this over. I'm just going to change this in case anyone jumps in and they, you know, really want to know the scores. of. We are still live and advertising that we are covering this. And even though we've just had a bombshell go off in the community, I'm just going to change that. Um, okay, so here's the, here's the message. And it says, um, Dear Mr. Hensey, my name is. I've got reflections going. Let's see if I can angle it. There. Uh, my name is Laurie Cooper. I am a friend of Jennifer's. I am tracking down her online friends as soon as I have time for. I've got to give some bad news that Jennifer had a severe cardiac event last Monday evening, um, which was too much for her and the life-saving attempts made on her, and she passed away. There is a posting on her Facebook page. Please feel free to share this information. 
uh, to her team and to others. To her team. Um, currently, uh, Austria going through in uh, second place. I can't. I have searched, and I actually can't find her on uh, Facebook. Uh, when you put in like Jennifer Palmer, it obviously brings up quite a few results. So I'm struggling to find her on Facebook. And I don't know what to do with that post. I, I really, obviously, I want to retweet it and say something, but I'm still not. I still haven't, like, I still can't kind of bring myself to accept it, to be honest. Uh, William says that Jennifer had a triple bypass a couple of months ago. She confided that much. Uh, Neverland score. On, let's go back. Uh, if we end the stream, we'd just be sitting around thinking about it. Says Moldy Spoon. Well, I'm just thinking that. I'm thinking, you know, if I do end the stream, what what do what do I go off to do anyway? Uh, I would go off to try and get answers on it, to be honest. But um, I might be able to do that whilst being on the stream. I don't know. Hang on. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to find out who scored. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and I'm going to take this a step at a time. That's what I'm going to do. Um, so the goal scorer I think was Depay. Let's let's sort that. The goals being checked for VAR is it? <clears throat> Owe wrestling. Shout out to you, Jacko. Shout out to you. Uh, through I don't know through her I genuinely don't know I mean I think she was probably at a guess mid late thirties something along that some somewhere like that certainly no age but of course it hasn't written here we go right to pay to pie. 24 in the goal stands. Uh, you do you, we right over you. Kind of shout out to you. It's a bit, this is nothing to do with me. This is about the community, isn't it? This is about her. That's who this is about. I, my my feeling right now, let me tell you where I am. My feeling right now is that I'm struggling to believe it. I know I keep saying it, but all I can do is tell you how I'm truthfully feeling, right? And right now I'm just struggling to believe it. And it, and it could be denial. It could be the case that I don't want to believe it. So it could be that. She is someone that I have DM'd and spoken with and, um, well, not spoken directly with, but through direct messages. She's someone that, you know, would send me emails and, uh, you know, I've had, you know, good interaction with. It's it's not like it's someone that has kind of, you know, popped into a few streams or something. I mean, obviously, even that would be a tragedy, but this is someone that I've had maybe a deeper relationship with. And she was so passionate about the prediction game. She really was so, so passionate about it. Really wanted to succeed at it and you know uh, she would send me like emails about how close she was and she's getting better and all this kind of stuff and um i was i was genuinely over the moon when she won that tournament when she won the tournament i i remember working it out and it's all above board or all, all you know she won it 
and um I was really pleased when I'd worked it out and uh put it out there and and she'd won it and uh I think I even commented as such that I was really pleased that she'd won it um so I, I'm just really struggling to believe that this has obviously happened but my other thought is that we can end this stream because obviously I mean nothing matters now to me I just don't care anymore um I mean I, I can update the scores and uh we can just stream and try and f I don't know I don't know I just don't know I just don't know. I'm trying to think, what if I don't stream, what do we do? What do I do? I just sit here trying to get answers, and I don't even know if I'm going to get any more answers. Um, it seems like William obviously knows the most without putting pressure on him, but um, it, it seems like William's done a, a, a fantastic job. I mean, this credit goes to William with finding this out um, and, and getting this, you know, reaching out and getting this answer, so... Uh, I did see that he mentioned earlier that um, she was happy to have beaten that king. She found out Monday she had beaten him. She was happy. Uh, she still loved that king. Yeah. I mean, that's... Uh, uh, that king should be... That king should be... <sighs> proud that he gave her that moment if that makes sense he he likes to is a, is a good guy who likes to play the heel and he was bantering her and and in the I think it was the discord wasn't it she was getting a bit worked up but when she managed to beat him that would have meant a lot to her i mean thankfully it went that way you know if she had have lost then obviously it could have been heartbreak and whatever but yeah, she she was really pleased that she'd managed to get that victory. So, you know, credit to him in a way for giving her that, if that makes sense. Like, it mattered. That It meant something, and it, and it mattered, and that's really cool. So, credit, credit to him for that, definitely. Netherlands on the attack, and... Oh, nice. Nice save. Jennifer had a triple bypass a couple of months ago. She confided that month, Matt, that much. She'd been recovering. Unfortunately, uh, that led to some complications and severe chest pains. I do remember her saying that she had gone in. I do remember that. I do remember that. Uh... I would entertain Jennifer, yeah. Don't need to stream if you're not happy, because let's be honest, Raw will just suck. Yeah. Mm. It's, diff it's just difficult. I just really don't know what the right thing to do is. It's one of those where you can look back and go, we shouldn't have streamed. Looking back now, we shouldn't have streamed. We should have just turned the stream off. But as I'm sitting here now, I'm thinking, well, if I turn the stream off, what am I going to be doing anyway? I'm going to I'm going to try to get some answers but I don't know that I'm going to find or get anything more than what William has been able to get which you know as I said a big shout out to William for 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 getting that so it's hard to know what the right way forward is to be honest uh see shout out to you Ryan said it's sad, but you've got to remember people get DMs on Twitter all the time. It could be fake. It's a difficult one because this person that sent this is, uh, knows that, well, c the fact that, you know, they're saying that it was a cardiac arrest and we, I know that she has had heart issues. So if it's fake, this person would have to have a knowledge of that. And I don't know. They leave it's another day. No milestone. It's it's uh, the predictions uh, game stuff's done actually. It's done. It's not recorded. The video's not done. But I've actually 
uh, worked it all out. I did that last night. I worked it out after the um, Hell in a Cell. So I, I did Hell in a Cell and then I worked, it, I worked out the prediction game. I just didn't get to the point where I uh, recorded the video. But it's all updated and it's all done. So my plan was as soon as these two games were done, I was going to record the video and then put that out there. So... Uh, it, it's that it's done it's done that's not is that bit's not really a problem all's got to do is just record it and just go here's the results so that can still get done um uh lsw shout out to you owe said i finished making a theme song i'll upload it in a second uh seth says stream is the right thing to do at least we can talk about it and it might help some people yeah i mean okay that's that's okay i appreciate that i appreciate that because one of the other things that's going around my mind at the moment is i'm sat here thinking am i going to look back at this going we should have just shut this down the second we found that out we should have just shut it down uh and i'm still thinking that but I don't know if it's true. I don't want it to be true. I don't know what I would do if I wasn't streaming because obviously this is what the plan was. So if I don't stream, I'll just be sitting here trying to get answers and there'll be a lot of people in the community that will be just as confused as what I am. At least this way I can sit here and say, I don't know. Currently, I mean, currently I can sit here and say, I don't know. I don't know what the truth is and I don't know what's happening. But I, I do applaud William for getting that information. And I think that at the moment that looks like it's could be true. And if it's if it's a lie that someone has made up, I will personally murder them. I will personally hunt them down because it, that would be beyond sick and I kind of hope that's the case uh, you should do what you think is best I don't know what's best buddy I don't know what's best this is one of those where I'm sitting here trying to debate what is the right thing to do and what the right thing to say is and I just don't. I, I, I just don't want it to be true. That's what I don't. I just don't want it to be true. That's what I'm sitting here thinking. And it's impossible now to sit here and get any kind of enthusiasm about the games, which I know everyone understands. I I, I know everyone knows that. But um, yeah, I also know that this isn't what Jennifer would want. I also know that she would. She loved the community. I know that. She loved it. She was a member of it. And she was a proud member of it as well. And loved the prediction game and was really passionate about doing her best. And, you know, she was in that uh, team, um, uh, Bullet Club. Um, she was on the Discord. She was she was a very, very... She's, she was as, as active a member as what you could get. She she could not have been more involved, and uh, I think someone said earlier she was she was one of us, and that is absolutely like that's how I see it. She was absolutely one of us. Uh, I think I think having a place for people to talk their feelings will be helpful," says Ryan. Hmm. Shakim said uh, she was the best. Last X said she was a fan of yours. Well, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word fan, but she was someone that was uh, a member of the community. I think that's a better way of wording it. She was a member of the community that enjoyed spending time with all of us. She enjoyed being here and spending time with everyone and interacting with everyone and playing the members game and all of that so yeah she was she was uh, a regular well i think she was on all the streams to be honest I, I i i would struggle to think back of like she was just always one of those names that you saw in the chat 
And she was always, you know, someone that would send me emails and, you know, she was just very active, very, very active. Austin says, Jennifer was one of the most kindest people that you could know. She was very, very likable. Well said. Alfredo says, we're mourning uh, together as a community. It's much better than calling it quits and just sitting on your own. Mm. Uh, Theruka says, don't close the stream because you can talk to us and then uh, uh, be relieve your mind. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 don't, I just don't know. Uh, you are literally seeing me going from having a laugh at the start, bantering as we always do, going to that news breaking, going to me now for I don't even know how long it's been, 20 minutes, half an hour or whatever, reflecting on what the right thing to do is. My, I think the problem I've got is that I don't see where where we go from here, if that makes any sense. I just kind of feel like now we're, we're here now. And this is, I think, where we're going to be for the day at least. And I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, no, I'm, I'm not in any kind of mood to be bantering and joking around and all that kind of stuff. It feels like a, I just feel like I've been punched in the stomach or something or in the throat or something like this. It's just, just still don't want it to be true. Uh, she loved everyone here, says uh, Gregor John. Crazy Ginger says, what do you think Jennifer would have wanted? You should look to do that. I think undeniably she would want... She, I, I think... I think she would want people to... I think she would be really... hard isn't it <laughs> this is this is hard i think she would be really proud to know that she had touched so many people that she had had an effect on so many people and i think it's um I think it's really great that we live in a world where people that we don't know that are a million miles away and that are complete strangers can kind of have have that effect. And she definitely had that effect or has had that effect. And, and as I keep saying, I still don't want it to be true. I think that she would she loved she loved the community there's no denying that I think she would want the community to uh be together and talk about her and all that Uh, in my opinion, I think uh, keeping the stream on is the best option as we have someone to talk to instead of being alone. I'm honestly socked, shocked and uh, sad. Jennifer was awesome, says Sir uh, Harley. Theruka says, I uh, didn't know Jennifer, but seems like she was a nice person. Well, I think you can uh, see from the reaction in the chat what the impact that she's had on everyone. And um, yeah. Uh, Jennifer was the heart of this community. She will be sadly missed. Max says, uh, what's happening? Which is a very good question because there'll be a few people joining us that will be obviously newcomers or um, just pop in every now and again or maybe this is the first time they've joined us. Uh, I do have to still be aware that we are live on the internet to all. In a way, you know, this feels a bit like a member's stream. Kind of feels like... Um, I don't know, it just kind of feels like we're shut off from the world in a way. I just feel like, I don't know, it's so weird. I don't feel like we're live on the actual internet to the world right now. But um, 
Yeah, well, someone in our community that hasn't been around for like a uh, a week or so. I, I, we didn't get I didn't get any prediction scores from her this week. Um, she has apparently passed away, uh, and she was a very active member of the community. And we've uh, I've literally just found out during the stream. Um, I I didn't know beforehand. Um, if I'd have known beforehand, I've got to be honest. I don't think we would have streamed, because I think I would have wanted answers. I would have wanted to have found out what what had happened, and I understand that would have meant that people would have been confused. But maybe I could have got my own head around it first, and then we could have done like raw later or something. And maybe I could have you know told you what I know, or maybe we would have just done the first hour, or I don't, I don't even know. I still don't even know what's happening now, to be honest. Uh, what I can tell you is we are coming towards the end of the first half. Uh, it's 1-0 for the Netherlands, and it's 1-0 for Austria. That means that it would be Netherlands and Austria that go through. So that's currently where we are, uh, with Macedonia going out completely and uh, Ukraine going into that uh, third-placed uh, slot. WWE Central says days i just got onto the stream what happened i think we'll have uh, obviously quite a few people doing that just jumping in as and when um and not knowing and uh it's it's going to be difficult to kind of keep repeating it isn't it and keep talking about it but uh just a member of the community has uh, seemingly passed away so uh yeah it's just a bit of a bombshell that's gone off but I do. I agree with what people are saying. I agree with what people are saying. People are saying that it's it's good for for them to have somewhere to like talk. So in a way, it's good that we've got an open chat, and it's good that people can share their thoughts and their memories and all that kind of stuff. But it seems it seems very strange to me to be even saying that. To be honest, share their memories because I'm st I'm still not there. Uh, it's almost like losing a friend. Hundred percent. I mean, it. Do you know, it's it is so strange because obviously a lot of us have have never actually met in person. I have been very very fortunate to meet some of you in person. Um, uh, Miss Clown, for example, comes to mind. Um, uh, quite a few actually. I've I've been able to meet. At, like when I was doing wrestling shop live, but night after night after night pretty much every day at least once a day i will sit down and stream and we will have people come and join um the same names the same you know bants and all this kind of stuff and then you know to think that one of us has passed away which in a way is life isn't it if you think about it i mean I'm sure this happens all the time in other communities, but, but it's just not something that we've ever had to really face. Or at least not that I'm aware of. There could be people that have joined us, popped in, jumped out, that are, you know, have very, very sadly passed away as well. But Jennifer was someone that was at, like, the heart of this community. I mean, it, she's been described as the heart of the community. And to not hear from her for a week, I must admit, I never look at the emails. I never, I never look at the emails um, when you guys send your predictions in because I, I don't get time. I get a lot of people asking me, "Did you get my email?" And, and I keep having to say, "I don't know. <laughs> I don't know," because I don't, I don't get chance to look and go down. Um, I literally do it when I'm working it out, which is on like a Sunday night. Normally a Sunday night, I'll sit down. I'll write down the. Um, scores i mean that's that's kind of how i do it right there i write down the names of who's won and what round and then i'll go through each email and i'll mark down the scores so if you got the name right you get a one blah 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 and i'll go through and i'll do it that way and that it that is from last night that's exactly how i do it and um i go down and mark it all and everything and um it's like school work i have to do marking um and I noticed that she hadn't sent an email. And then I actually went on the Discord last night. And I went into the Bullet Club part. And I saw, I think it was Scowls, saying, uh, 
uh, Jennifer, is everything okay? And there was just a little alarm bell at that point that went, this isn't like her. She's always around. Where is she? Um, I'd, I had noticed that she hadn't been in chats, but people have got lives. I, I never worry about that. If I don't see someone for a you know week or so, people have got things on. You know, people have got things to do and but not getting a prediction game email that that was an that was a that was an alarm uh it happened in a, another community that I was a part of uh it was sad then and it's sad now uh I didn't know Jennifer that well but I've had some interactions in the chat and she was kind uh real shorty g shout out to you sir uh, days if you want to confirm it just google it what do you mean how i spoke to jennifer on a voice chat oh yes on discord lovely fun loving lady she will be sadly missed r.i.p you wonderful lady yeah was was that uh, yeah uh, I see all of us as friends, even family. That's how tight we are. Moments like this where arguments, disagreements get put away. Life is too short. Love all you guys, says James. Well said. Uh, Lewis, how are you today? I've been better, Lewis. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Lewis. As days go, this is uh, not going to be remembered as a great one. Um... Mm. Mm. Uh, first, right. First half has ended in the Netherlands game and in the Austria game, so it is half time. I haven't even, do you know what? I don't I haven't even put the stats up. Not that anyone cares. Not that it makes any difference to the world. Um. Uh, not that it's even there, by the looks of it. I need to refresh that page. Right. Oh, no, let's get it on screen. Let's at least let's at least get it lined up. I am. Hang on. Let's do one. Let's change it a bit more. I am someone that's sadly had loss in their life. I've, I, I, we all do, of course. But I lost my um, my grandma, I lost my nan, I lost my granddad. So um, I have been through like losing loved family members, you know. And I do know about myself. You do learn a few things about yourself when you go through something like that. When you when you lose someone that you love. You do learn some about yourself that you might not know. And, you know, obviously this is like really personal, but I kind of feel like this is the stream for it. But I know who I know who I am when I lose someone. I know I know how I react. My reaction when I lose someone is right. What do we need to do? That's how I react. When my granddad passed away, I remember like all my family were obviously upset. And I was like, right, who needs a cup of tea? Who wants a cup of tea? Do you want a cup of tea? And and I, I I have to I have to just do something. That's how I react. Um, and I was the same when like my nan passed away. I remember when my nan passed away. It was like right, let's let's go, let's get it get this sorted. Who do we need to talk to? You know, I think when people can react to things in different ways, and I know that I react that way because I've lost people and I've reacted that way. So. I know that I'm not the kind of person that's going to go away and just sit in a corner and reflect. That's eventually I will, and I'm sure once what however today plays out, I'm sure that at the end of it, I'm a thousand percent sure at the end of it, you know I will be once we turn off the streams and whatever, I will be sat here on my own thinking about her. So I know that's t 
to come, if that makes sense. I know that's on the way, but I am someone that is always like, right, what do we need to do? I only say that because that that's what I'm thinking right now. I mean, I'm 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 in that mode. I'm in the right. What do we need to do? I'm thinking if if it's if this is true, then when's a funeral or has a funeral has a funeral been set? I mean, she passed away last Monday, so. You know, we've got to be looking at that being around soon. Is there a way of sending flowers if if this is true? And I'm still not there, but how do we do this? How do I do this? So it's making me think, do I need to end a stream to go and get that answer now? How do we go? How do we... Who do we contact? How do we do this? Because... I definitely want to do something like that. I definitely want to make sure that I, this channel, and as a representative of this community, um, getting flowers sent or getting something sorted. That's where my head's at right now. Uh, WWE Central said this donation is for Jennifer. It will go towards that, sir. Uh, I don't know anything about her, but in two minutes I can tell she was a kind and loving person. Uh, we will all keep her and her family in prayers and in this community. Well said. That will, uh, you've got my word, 100% go towards whatever's going to happen here. Uh, contact the parents. I don't know where that that is. I mean, what I might do is I might just ping a DM. I don't know if William's around, but I might just DM William now and just say, "What what have, what contact details have you got?" Because I I've got her Twitter. I've got her Twitter, but obviously there's nothing that's happening on there. Where is? Let's go, William. still can't bring myself i'm i'm st I'm just sitting here i know this is the worst stream ever right i am literally just sitting here looking at this message going i know i have to retweet this and i know that i have to put a little something but i don't want to do it because i still don't want it to be um have you any I don't even know if William's still around, to be honest. I really to sort flowers or something. Thanks, bud. Uh, it's on Google. Apparently, a long battle with it is on Google. I don't. I, I don't quite get how the Google thing works, to be honest. I mean, what do you do? Just put in her name and... I don't, I don't know. Uh, stream is okay. Okay. Brad, shout out to you. Uh, film la la la. This moment, pack my major. Someone tell me what has happened. Here, every day in the community, you come second family. Adam, shout out to you, buddy. Type in Jennifer. 
well, I don't know, but I mean, if you type that in, you're going to come back with lots of results and... It's one of the top stories on Google when you type it in. I, I don't know if that's going to be the same person, buddy, to be honest. Yeah, Paul, that might not be the same person, bud. I don't think she did pass away of that. Uh, I think people are referring to a picture of that information. People you need to have information possible with date of birth, otherwise it won't give you the correct person. Maybe it's someone else. Yeah, it could, it could be, but um, there's quite a, there's quite a few people that will have that name in the world that, you know... Sadly, there's people that are passing away every day. Obviously. But... Uh, Um, mm, 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 mm. Greetings from Mexico, says uh, Vladimir. Chat out to Mexico. Uh, yeah, half time, uh, one nil, uh, in both of the games. Uh, we are going to a second. Amazingly, we're going to a second half. I don't. I don't even feel like the, I've seen any of the game. Well, I haven't. <laughs> That's why I haven't seen any of the games. Um. And we will be going to a second half. Okay. Let's change this over to uh, second half. Diego, shout out to you, buddy. Yeah, agreed. Thought last week, mate. Uh, yeah, Paul, no worries, man. Yeah, I know you're just, you're just trying to help, bud. I, I get it. No worries. No dramas. Um, <laughs> remember when the U.S. women's team beat Thailand eleven to one? Says L N L W live. Um. <clears throat> uh, did you see the tweet that Kevin Owens has put out? Is going to take some time away. I haven't. I will look at that tweet right now. It feels like Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens have had a hundred matches, and they constantly find new ways to do things, new spots, and to make things feel fresh. Uh, Owens said I fought like hell I need a little break I'll be back soon thank you guys so uh, that's what uh, Kevin has said uh, Landon shout out to you Paul said my friend runs a local wrestling company in Liverpool you should come up and meet up for the show says Paul shout out to you dude like Liverpool, nice place. Uh, days were out, aren't we? Says uh, Martinez. You are struggling. You uh, well, uh, North Macedonia are out, um, and uh, Ukraine are struggling at the moment. But Ukraine could go through. 
they have a victory, so they're going to have some points if they finish third. Uh, Austria, still a you know long way to go, but yeah, Macedonia are definitely out. Netherlands are definitely through, and uh, uh, we're seeing a few changes for Netherlands at the moment. Um, Timber is coming on. My thought, my thoughts right now are, we've started. I'm not, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to abandon. Right, I just, I, um, let's get through this second half, forty-five minutes. And the reason I'm doing that is because there's been enough people saying that it's it's good to have a place to come and chat. So it makes sense to leave this open so that people can come and chat if they want to. I mean, I'm not... It's got nothing to do with views and stuff like that. I mean, it's nothing to do with that. If I was you know, interested in that, I'd be sending tweets out all the time with links and all this kind of stuff. I'm not, I'm not doing any of that. This has got nothing to do with that. As far as I'm concerned, in many ways, the stream has ended, um, but it hasn't ended because of the fact that there's a lot of people that obviously are still finding out. There's a lot of people that want to share their thoughts. There's a lot of people that just, just want to be with other people, which I, 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 I totally understand. Um, I am someone though that definitely do you know what I mean like in, in case of emergency that's what I do in case of emergency it's like what do we need to do what do we do now let's get some sorted so um, we're, we're going to finish off this stream we're going to uh, focus on this second half when I say focus as you know we'll do what we can but, um, yeah, I mean, the chat's there for people to just share their thoughts and whatever. Get their heads around it like I'm still getting my head around it as well. As uh, North Macedonia attack and uh, play out to the right, ball whipped into the centre. So uh, both, gays, both games are up and running. I almost said both days. Both games are uh, up and running, and um, <clears throat> Ukraine are definitely going to need to get some out of this game. Seth, shout out to you. Harley, shout out to you. Uh, I know this much, Harley. Jennifer definitely wouldn't want this to sour your birthday. So uh, uh, make sure that you're still looking after yourself and... You know, doing whatever you had planned and meeting up with friends or just hanging out at home or make sure you got a smile on your face, bud. Uh, Days, why are you talking like that? What happened? Oh, um, we, it, it, we believe it's looking almost certain that a, a loved member of our community has sadly passed away. Um ball whipped into the centre by uh, Macedonia goes over to the other side uh, if you don't want to stream tomorrow it's okay Taruka. days will you stream later or will you take a break I right now I am in a little boat little, little boat like this there's no engine <clears throat> I'm not even sure if there's a sail but we're on a little boat and we are literally just getting smashed by the sea, right? That's where we are right now. <laughs> right now, we are just out in the middle of the ocean in a tiny little boat, like rocking all over the place as uh, wave after wave is uh, heading towards us. That's where we are right now, mentally. So are we streaming later? I don't know is the answer. I'm still trying to figure out if I should be streaming this second half. I'm still trying to figure out if I should be streaming now. I'm still trying to figure out if I will look back on this and go, should have ended it as soon as that as soon as that came through. It, the right thing to do was end. I don't know. The only thing I do know is that people have said that it's 
you know it's good to have somewhere to chat and it's good to share the thoughts and everything so i do take i do take something from that at least but i am very aware that there's people joining us that don't normally join us and it makes me think we should end it because it's not very it's not fair on them but i mean obviously they're not going to stick around they'll go and find somewhere where it's like you know what they would what they were looking for so yeah header headed off the line good header by was that delit who uh headed it uh, towards goal but it was uh, headed off the uh, north macedonia line got an austrian player down ball whipped into the center it's a corner for uh, the netherlands ball is cleared Uh, we understand. Thruka, shout out to you, yeah. Uh, get some good sleep. Well, I mean, look, I, I feel all right in that department. We're, we're, we're doing all right with, like, the match streams we're doing and, and all of that. Like, everything, um, in that regard, everything's fine. So I feel, I feel fine in that regard. But it's just a case of, um, yeah, I mean, I... I I know that people want to have like you know good time watching the games, a bit of banter, you know, a bit of fun, all that kind of stuff. It's exactly what we try to do. Just like how North Macedonia try to uh, stop the ball going in their net, but they're not able to as they concede a second goal. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a bit of an ask to be honest today. Uh, kind of feels like every player I was debating bringing into my team has now decided today is the day they're going to score. So it looks like it's uh, Wijnaldum that's picked up a second for uh, the Netherlands. Ball into the centre and it's a simple tap in. It's just cut across. I think it's uh, Depay with the assist, to be honest. So... If you have got uh, Depay in your team, then you're uh, looking pretty good. I think that it would be harder for me to mess up a team any worse than what I've managed to do with my fantasy team this year. If I actually went out of my way to make it bad, I think I would probably get better results. Just every gamble that I've taken, because you have to take little gambles sometimes with the fantasy game. If you play it safe, you're not really going to get anywhere. But every little gamble I've taken, like I, uh, I played my Limitless card this week. So I played my Limitless card, and I was adamant that they would rest players for this game, the Netherlands. I was adamant. I was like, they're already through. Like, they're not going to want to, you know, risk their top, top players in this game. So I... Um, I played my limitless card which means you can have anyone and I would definitely would have taken Marcus Depay I definitely would have taken Wijnaldum. Um I had Wijnaldum in my team actually and I took him out because I was so confident they were going to rest them and uh, well they haven't have they and now they've all scored two goals in three matches for uh, Wijnaldum uh, your team looks good well, it ain't doing anything. It can look it can look good, but it ain't doing anything. It's a bit like me right now. I look good, but I'm not doing anything. Maybe the teams are just a reflection of their owners. Uh, you're still fifth. That's not that bad. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it ends. It's a marathon, not a sprint. It's a marathon. Uh, I'm the same here to chat. Uh, Moldy Spoon said, I've got Depay as my captain, and I've got Wijnaldum and Dumfries. You're laughing all the way to the bank, bud. You're laughing all the way to the bank. You've got Netherlands in the bank, you have. Uh, Jacko said, I'm trying to find connections to Jennifer via locations in the USA on Facebook and Twitter and uh, Laurie Cooper, but there's really nothing there. You might have to get William to text uh, Laurie back. Well, I, I think, I mean, William is, um, you know, um, someone that's got his head screwed on. 
it's not like Williams, you know, 10, 11, 12, someone that's, you know, learning about the world. He's got, he's got life experience. That's, that's what I'm looking for. So I, I would imagine that William is, is on it. Yeah. In fact, he is literally 16 seconds ago. He's just sent me a message. Uh, William has uh, kindly sent me a link to her uh, Facebook. Um, North Macedonia have got a free kick. You, you'll see this, by the way. Um, I, I, it's asking me to... Uh, it's a beautiful shot. Uh, it's asking me to log in, and um, I actually don't know my logins right now for Facebook. I really never go on. So uh, at least I've got the link to her uh, Facebook. Uh, oh, is William here? I don't even know if William's around. I don't even know. Uh, is he around? No, I think he's. I think he is off, you know, doing stuff. Uh, I'll be watching Raw tonight, taking a break. I, I honestly don't know, but I mean, I, 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 I want, I want, I am someone that is like, right, what do we need to do? I keep saying that. Um, so I do want to. Um, I do want to. Uh, ball is played into the middle goes out onto the wing uh, Sonny said he's at work oh wow he's very kindly um, uh, sent me a, a, a DM whilst he's at work alright ball played uh, across the uh, back and uh, Netherlands playing the ball forward So as we said, uh, I think I think we'll, we'll we're definitely going to watch the, the end of this. Uh, this is a tough stream. Mm. It is. I, th I, I, I I hope in a way it does serve a bit of a purpose as well, though. Otherwise, there's really no need to do it. And I do, obviously, I don't mean the football. I mean, there's other places to go to get that information. But, I mean, in regards to um, ball played in, nice shot, falls back, another goal, second goal for one Um Yeah, I mean, they're just absolutely rampant now, Netherlands. This could be a, this could be a right routing. So, uh, 50 and 57. It's amazing, actually. It didn't feel like that was 7... Uh, minutes apart. I'm so pleased I took uh, Wijnaldum out of my team. Yay. Oh, this is really annoying. Like, whenever they score, it automatically moves this page. That's really annoying. Because it means I keep having to go back and, like, move it and change it. Right. Still, the Ukraine struggling at the moment to uh, get a goal in a very important must-win game for them. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. 
Uh, right, so yeah, three nil and uh, one Aldum, three goals in three matches. Um, you, you don't tend to see that from him at uh, when he was at Liverpool, but he's playing quite an advanced role in this Netherlands team. So he's able to get uh, he's able to get forward a little bit more, and uh, you know, three goals in three games. They're uh, they're you know just carving through Moldova, uh, Moldova. Carving through Macedonia like they're not even there, really. I mean, with half an hour to go, this could be this could be any score, couldn't it? I mean, we saw Portugal score three goals after the 84th minute, so could be three three if North Macedonia do a Portugal. Could be six nil. Uh, my captain today and yesterday got two goals and they both play for uh, LFC, says Gary. Uh, <clears throat> Taruka says, type to farm a bitch, Mary. I can try to do that, but when I searched on it before, it wasn't bringing up... It wasn't bringing up uh, anyone that I... recognize ball bouncing around but goes out wide uh, go Netherlands says uh, Thruka Uh, freak, shout out to you. Uh, Gregor, not sure, buddy. Don't know. Um, I mean, I, I, I would say like mid late third is it's, it's it's difficult to say. I mean, there's only like a couple of pictures that I've ever seen of her, to be honest. So, uh, hopefully, I'm not being disrespectful there, you know. And she turns out she's like 21, but um. Yeah, I mean, just as a rough ballpark, you know, she's not, she's not like twelve or anything like that. Not that it makes any difference, but still, you know, we're we're not talking about a child. But again, not not that it really makes a difference. A ball being played uh, forward and uh, nice uh, defending there by uh, Macedonia, who have uh, got the ball, trying to uh, break forward. Ball played out to the left. And uh, they're just showing a replay of the goal that we just saw in that Austria-Ukraine game. Uh, Ukraine have got a free kick. Macedonia on the ball, played into the centre. Right on the edge of the uh, Netherlands uh, penalty box. Bounces off uh, the legs of the uh, Dutch player, goes out. Ball whipped into the centre and uh, headed towards uh, goal, but uh, saved in the uh, Ukraine-Austria game. Uh, mm, 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 please don't do raw. Uh, it's rare to enjoy it, and I'm only going to serve to bring you down. So you must enjoy it tomorrow. Come back. Sam, shout out to you. I was actually quite optimistic for Raw tonight. <laughs> I said last night that tonight is the night that I'm quietly optimistic. I think that uh, it could actually be an all right show because it looks like there'll be new feuds for Drew. It looks like there'll be new um, new feuds for Drew. Something new for Bobby. We're building towards money in the bank. Um, kind of thought like, you know, it'd be all right. Uh, WWE Central, shout out to you. Ball played out to the uh, left-hand side. Uh, looks like Netherlands going to make a substitution. 
who's playing? We've got Netherlands against uh, North Macedonia. It's currently 3 0. Uh, Netherlands looking great. Um, I mean, stats showing that they've had 50 odd percent uh, possession, 12 shots, 6 on target, 3 goals. So some good numbers. Uh, I don't think Drew will be at Raw, says Ant. Connor says, can you set up a pot for anyone that wants to donate to Jennifer? I know I want to donate to anything you can get for Jennifer. Uh, I need I need to figure out first if I can get in touch. Because if I... If I can't get in touch for whatever reason, if I can't, if if the if if there's no way of, I mean, I should I should maybe I should imagine that it would be possible, but I I don't want to I don't want to do that now. I want to I want to uh, I want to somehow get in touch and find where can I uh, make a donation or like where can I uh, like is there a way of contributing towards a <laughs> you know. Is there a way of sending flowers or something? So I don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want to be uh, running before I can walk there. Uh, Raw should be good, says William. Uh, WWE Central. The should be a link on the community tab for you. If you if you're a member, you should be able to get onto the community tab. Uh, Jacko said I might have found Laurie on Twitter, but she's got a private account. Uh, Harley said qualifying matches, so matches can actually mean something for once on Raw. That's true. Uh, posted my response and forwarded the information I've given. Uh, so far. Okay. Thank you, William. A couple of uh, Netherlands uh, fans that just had their uh, fingers in their ears. I'm not sure what that was for. 66 uh, minutes gone. we got uh, 24 minutes to go. Uh, who do you think Bobby Lashley will challenge next? Be challenged by next? Well, I think it's uh, a bit too soon for Brock. So I don't think it'll be that. Uh, and it'll be very... Oh, he's hit the post there. Hit the post, old uh, Verkhorst. Um, yeah, I, I think it's too soon for Brock. Um, so they need a stopgap, really. Um, Keith Lee coming back could be interesting as a little stopgap. Um, it's hard to know because really you would want someone that's been around the back in the day. You would have someone that have maybe been around that mid card title, and then they would be ready to step up. Like the mid card belt gets people ready for the main belt, but Sheamus has been feuding with Umberto and Ricochet, and I don't think Umberto or Ricochet are going to be stepping up to Bobby. So I don't think it'll be any of them. Uh, Randy is obviously doing stuff with uh, Matt Riddle, so I don't think it's going to be Randy. I think he's kind of been moved to the side a little bit. Uh, Dave says Kofi is my guess. Kofi is a very good guess. There's, uh, I've seen people say Kofi on uh, Twitter, um, and he is it. It is a very good guess because. There's been seeds planted of him potentially joining. Oh, this is nice. Look, there's a player going off for North Macedonia, and I don't know if it's his final appearance or something, Pan Pandev. But as he goes off, the players actually line up and applaud as he as he leaves the pitch. So he, he walks in between them, and there's lots of hugs and all this. So I'm 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 not sure what Pandev is has done, but um. Uh, he's clearly a a, a a player that I, I think actually Pandev is uh, their most appeared player and their top ever goal scorer. 
So it could be that was might be his final appearance or something. He might be retiring now. But everyone's coming over and patting him on the back and congratulating him, and it's nice to see. He he doesn't seem to want the fuss, to be honest, but it's it's nice to see. Uh, Scott said, uh, it's really aware much about me, but I knew Jennifer from this community, and to see this news is totally uh, heartbreaking. Yeah, well said, Scott. Shout out to you, buddy. Uh, Wrestle votes reporting that Brock uh, isn't interested in a WWE return and Edge versus Seth is going to be confirmed for SummerSlam, says uh, Anthony. Days I gave you her service place in Thornton. Service place in Thornton. Uh, Did you tag me in something, buddy? Oh. Okay. So, uh, what William has just received is a, a, a message. Um, so, William asks, is, it, is the news true to uh, this Laurie Cooper? And uh, Laurie Cooper says... Um, I'll just I'll just read it exactly as it's written. It says, uh, "Yes, sadly, it's very true. Her services will be Friday afternoon at the Ward Van Slyke Funeral Home in Clear Lake, Iowa. Feel free to post on her page. I posted the initial notice of her passing and the early post of her service. This is the bit that's going to." This is the bit that smacked me in the feels. Um, She left me in charge of her affairs. I've gone through her notes, run across her notes, and predictions concerning your community. It was a standing thing with her that I didn't call her when I knew she was involved with watching the fights. William says, thank you, I'll relay the information. Uh, we daily loved her and uh, Laurie replies she was the best of the best the best of the best yep Uh, vicious uh, shot by the Netherlands Uh, I remember the last conversation I had with her was about pets oh god you're right she was in that wasn't she I saw that pets channel had been opened on the discord and it was I think it was you and her sharing pictures of their of your of your pets she 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 really was involved in everything, wasn't she? Wow. Uh, ball on the uh, left-hand side. Macedonia trying to play it forward. There was a, a really good shot there by uh, Netherlands. Uh, straight at the goalkeeper. 
and uh, Ukraine having to mop up. As it stands, uh, it's going to be uh, Ukraine in third, Austria in second, Netherlands first, and Macedonia going out. Uh, Taruka said, what's next for Lashley? Kofi at Money in the Bank. Keith Lee, possibly a big name like Brock at SummerSlam. Anthony says, Days, what if Cross vacates the title and Cole versus Kyle is for the title at The Bash? Yeah. Uh, she loved animals, says uh, William. Dave, shout out to you. Uh, all right, we've got Macedonia on the left-hand side. Uh, getting uh, taken down, but uh, no foul given. Uh, and uh, Netherlands back on the ball. Trying to break forward, trying to find a fourth goal. Just to uh, drive that nail home into my fantasy team once and for all. Oh, it's gone through as well. Ball played into the centre. Goes through to a Netherlands player, plays it out to the left-hand side. Gets it across. No one there, but there is someone there. And uh, heroic defending by uh, Macedonia. Netherlands looking to uh, pump it into the middle, straight into the arms of uh, the Macedonian goalkeeper. Uh, ball is pumped forward. Now, I, I actually don't know what the Ukraine need in order to go through. Oh, breaking news. Chilwell and Mount are forced to self-isolate for England. England's Ben Chilwell and Mason Mount have got to self-isolate. England's Ben Chilwell and Mason Mount have to self-isolate as a precaution after coming into close contact with Billy Gilmore, Chilwell and Mount were seen interacting with Gilmore after Friday's goalless draw. Gilmore has since tested positive for COVID-19 and will miss Scotland's final group game. The entire England squad had lateral flow tests on Monday and all were negative. Gareth Southgate's, Gareth Southgate's side face the Czech Republic in their final 2020 group game on Tuesday. In a statement, the FA said it would hold further talks with the Public Health of England before taking further action. The pair will be kept away from the rest of the England players and wider support team pending further discussions with the PHE. We will continue to follow all COVID-19 protocols um, and uh, UEFA testing regimes. I mean, Chilwell hasn't been playing for England. Mason Mount obviously has and has been playing a very influential part. I think that almost certainly means that Grealish will start in that number 10 role, uh, which is the role that Mount has been kind of occupying. But um, that's that's big. Uh, so they are going into self-isolation. Now, that game is tomorrow, so they're... I mean, it doesn't actually say here that they're out of that game, but they've got to be out, haven't they? If they're self-isolating right now, they're not training, they're not going through tactics, they're not part of the group, they're clearly going to be out of the game. So, uh, yeah, breaking news uh, coming through. That was eight minutes ago. Eight minutes ago that Chilwell and Mount uh, forced to self-isolate after uh, Gilmore contact. I mean, even if they self-isolate for 24 hours or something, just as a procedure, I mean, the, it, they're still not going to be ready for a game, are they, surely? Or it's not perfect. Um, Chilwell, I don't know if he would have played, to be honest. I think Mount almost certainly would. But it's not the end of the world if uh, they play Grealish instead. So uh, it might be that we don't get uh, uh, them tomorrow. Uh, in regards to the group, I'm just looking at the table. So uh, Austria and Ukraine are actually level on points. So it would be really interesting if the Ukraine were to get a goal now. I'd, I actually don't know how that would work. Uh, 
if Ukraine were to get a goal, I think Austria would still be going through on goal difference. I think the Ukraine needs two in order to go second. So I think the Ukraine needs a couple of goals here. Uh, Sky Sports have reported that Mount will be a big miss. Uh, Ringside News says, along with Roman versus Cena for SummerSlam, WWE is planning on stacking the SmackDown side with another major matchup. Idea might be Seth versus Edge. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is next for Drew? Possibly a feud with Sheamus. Um, uh, they sort of done that feud, so I'm not sure that we would go back to that, to be honest. Till Paul said Southgate is doing a live press conference right now. Uh, the two players aren't ruled out just yet. Michael, shout out to you. Uh, ball rolls out. We're uh, approaching the final 10 minutes. We're approaching the final 10 minutes. So, I mean, uh, the Netherlands game is pretty much sorted, isn't it? I mean, it, it didn't really matter anyway in truth. But um, uh, all eyes on Austria and uh, Ukraine, of course, with uh, 10 minutes to go. Uh, Drew versus Jinder, says uh, Ricky Cavey. Uh, if you're sad, talk about some happy things. Well, it's uh, good advice, bud. It's uh, okay to be sad sometimes. I feel like I'm in... I feel like Mr. Rogers. Uh, we've got six corners to the Netherlands, four to Macedonia. And uh, we've got a corner for Macedonia. Ball whipped into the uh, centre head. Bad header. It's kind of... I don't even know if you made contact with it, to be honest. I think he tried to, like, header it down or something, but it didn't work. Ball uh, ball rolls out of play in the uh, Austria-Ukraine game. There's uh, some people dressed up as the Flintstones. Why not? Uh, Will Raw do another beat the clock with Nikki Cross, but this time with the title on the line? I don't think so. Sarika, shout out to you. Michael, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Well said, William. Ball into the uh, middle of the park for Netherlands. Netherlands trying to attack. Ball out onto the right-hand side. Trying to get into the uh, middle. Played. Out from the back by uh, Macedonia. Out to the left and it goes out. So it's going to be a throw for the Netherlands. Eight minutes to go. Throw for the Ukraine as well. Uh, who are desperately trying to... Uh, I'm so pleased that I got rid of my Netherlands players and brought in Ukrainian players. I'm so pleased I did that. That's, that's worked really well for me today. Stupid Ukraine. Ball goes, oh, I just can't get onto the end of it. It's always going to be a tough, tight game, but I really thought that, you know, Ukraine have got a couple of goals. They've been looking quite good. Uh, some of their players have, you know, scored in the past couple of games. They seem to be on form. I like the look of them. So I thought, well, I like the look of them. I don't really fancy that the Netherlands are going to play a full-strength team. So these are the gambles you take. Live and die by the uh, decisions that you make, eh? In 
into the middle of the park, shoots, bounces off the Netherlands player for uh, Macedonia. <clears throat> Nasty looking tackle there. Nasty yellow card for the Macedonian player. Just kind of really hacked at uh, the Netherlands player who went down. Into the final 10 minutes in Amsterdam. It's been a decent watch. And North Macedonia have certainly played their part. But they are heading home after this. It will be a nervy wait for the Ukraine if they lose this match. They will be hoping to qualify as one of the best third place teams with three points and a goal difference of minus one. Austria will face Italy in the last 16 if it stays this way. So currently Italy versus Austria. So if you do have a fantasy team, I think you're... Um, I think you're... Uh, going to be looking at Italy players. Ball played back by uh, Netherlands, who were just on the left-hand side, trying to find a way through into the centre. Ball played into the middle, cleared by Macedonia, into the final five. <clears throat> That's nasty. Why was that not a red card, says uh, Thruka. Uh, Hasib, I, I, I don't know, buddy. I don't know. I, I mean, what I can tell you is I will try to do what we can do today. I mean, I, I, if we, if we, um, if we end up not streaming, we won't, we won't be not streaming because I want to be on my own. Because as I've said before, I'm not, I, I'm not that, I'm not that way. I'm someone that likes to get stuck on with stuff, you know? I'm someone like, right, what do we need to do? That's me. What do we need to do? You know, keep calm, carry on, yeah? The English way. Keep calm and carry on. That was the famous saying, I think, during the war, when uh, the, there was, like, German bombs and all this, you know? There was posters up, keep calm, carry on. Um, And uh, I think... I don't know if all of us have got a little bit of that in us, but I certainly feel that I have a bit of that. Keep calm, carry on. And so I'm someone that, you know, want will we'll carry on. But the, the, the problem is, I just don't think the stream's going to be any good. That's the, well, they're just not going to be any good because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be in laughing and joking, are we? Do you know what I mean? Like we're, people like to hang out because we like to have jokes and a bit of silliness and, you know, have a bit of banter with people in the chat, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, Austin's a stalker. All that, yeah. But, um, we're just, we're not going to do that, are we? We're just not going to do that. So, if we don't, it's because I know that the quality of the stream the, the 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 it's just not going to be there i mean not that it's ever there I, i'm lying to myself now i'm trying to make it sound like we have quality streams uh we've got uh macedonia in the right hand side trying to break into the center nice opportunity but uh, netherlands make a tackle it's good doesn't look like uh the ukraine will get a goal austria is controlling the ball says jimmy uh, my stream is going ahead if anyone still wants to talk, says Dave. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Meme says Austin is a stalker. Austin says do what you think's best. Yep. Uh, what sits at the bottom of the sea and twitches a nervous wreck? That's good, that is, Soroka. That's good. That's one of the good ones. You've done well there. You can be pleased of that one. In your little joke book, you can put a tick next to that. Uh, Cena, Roman and Seth Edge are very lightly, almost definite matchups. I think we will also get Sasha, uh, Bianca, uh, Becky Rhea and Bobby versus Brock or Brian. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. 
that's that's one way to look at it, Jake, definitely. But if the if it's not going to serve, I feel like I feel like this has served a purpose, right? As we're coming towards the end of it, we've got a minute, couple of minutes left. I feel okay about this, to be honest. I, I, like I didn't know how I was going to feel, but I feel okay that we've stuck around because I've seen people coming in that have been finding out i've i know there's people that have found the news out at the same time that i have and people have came jumped in late and been told and i've seen people telling people and it it kind of feels like at least we've served at least there's been some sort of like we can come together talk find out together what do we know what's the way forwards what's days saying is it true? Is it just a false rumor? Blah, 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 blah. I feel like at least we've got that out there. So that's out there. But um, I don't know about the next game because I don't know what the, I don't know about the next game and I don't know about Raw. But it's not because it's like I, I want to go away and sit in the corner and be sad. It's because if we do it, it's just not. I don't think it's going to have it. I don't know what. I don't know what merit it's going to have. I don't know what its purpose is going to be. I mean, I suppose its purpose is so that we don't just mope around. But um, I just don't know. Sometimes it's all right to not have the answers. Macedonia in the middle and uh, going for a shot. Four added minutes in this Netherlands game. Four added minutes. Oh. Theruka said, I would like to see a triple threat between Sasha, Belair, and Bailey. Uh, Austin is a stalker, but he's a good guy. He is a good guy. I suppose on a day like today, should admit that, do you know what? He's all right. He's all right. I'm prepared to go that far. Uh, Corey K said, if we do more streams, I feel like it won't be fun. It, it, it won't. Uh, bad left hook, shout out to you. Uh, Brad, yeah, shout out to you. Uh, Connor said, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Anna, shout out to you. Right, we're well into injury time. And honestly, it looks like we're probably going to be pretty much done. I, I don't know if there'll be any more goals here. Certainly the Ukraine are looking. They're knocking. They're trying because they want to be a third place team. So um, they've got the ball in the midfield. Passing it around. Into the penalty box, out to the right hand side. Into edge of the box. Nice. Stinked up. Just trying to race in, but as a Austrian player there. The tension right now is more in this game, the Austria Ukraine game. There's been uh, obviously more goals in the Netherlands game, though, as uh, Macedonia, who. It is worth just remembering when it comes to Macedonia, this is their first appearance at a major tournament. And uh, even though they've lost all their games and they've lost this one 3 0, um, it's still been great for their fans. Could you imagine being in North Macedonia? You've never been to one of these tournaments, you've never been able to look forward to go in, and you've never been a part of this. But now, I mean, now you can get a sticker album with your players in and you can get the stickers and the collector's cards, which I still haven't ordered. Uh, so uh, I should imagine that they'll still be really proud and whatever. But yeah, um, disappointing that they couldn't go further. I, 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 was, I was constantly looking for that dark horse and I wondered if it would be Turkey and I wondered if it would be uh, North Macedonia.
Um, but there are just seconds to go. Uh, four added minutes are already three minutes 30. Uh, WWE Central, I don't, I, I, right now, I don't know, bud. Right now, I don't, I don't know. I wish I had a better answer for you, but um, I, I just don't know. Uh, they are breaking Austria. Ball played into the centre, but there's no one there. And the Netherlands game has ended. It's ended 3-0. Uh, so the Netherlands game has ended. And uh, the Austrian game has ended as well. So it has ended 3-0 to the Netherlands. Uh, it has ended 1-0 to uh, Austria. And, uh, yeah, it's... Um all, all sorted in Group C. So that means that the Netherlands finish top, Austria a second, Ukraine a third, and Macedonia are out. So we've lost Turkey. We've lost Macedonia. We don't know if we've lost Switzerland or the Ukraine. We don't know if they're going through or not. But um, we're going to have to wait and see how all the other groups finish. But uh, right now, we know for a fact, for a fact, that on Saturday, on Saturday the 26th, in five days' time, we will be seeing Italy versus Austria. Italy versus Austria is confirmed. Italy versus Austria is confirmed. Uh, what we're looking to confirm next is who will Wales play Wales versus whoever finishes second in Group B. And um, we are going to look to get that answer coming up in the next uh, next games. Um, these games will be played on Saturday the 26th. So Italy, Austria confirmed and Wales versus, I think it's either Belgium or Russia, isn't it? Um so we will get uh, we will get that confirmed uh, coming up next. So well done to Netherlands who go through top, and uh, commiserations to North Macedonia. Uh, Sonny says I hope Italy win. Uh, William said I had Croatia and they let me down. Uh, Harley, I, I I don't not off the top of my head to be honest. So he said, what did the shark say when he ate the clownfish? This tastes funny. Very good. Right. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. I, I seriously don't know what's happening. I don't, I don't, I don't know. So I'm going to go have a read of a few things, process a few things, and figure out a few things. And uh, we'll see what happens. So, uh, big shout out to everyone that joined us. Apologies to those that were hoping this was going to be a Mad Bant stream. Um, turns out it wasn't. But, uh, you know, you will see what the future holds. So, look after yourselves. Try and get a smile on your faces if you can. And uh, I will see you when I see you. Bye for now.